Do your best to improve your faith. You can do this by adding goodness, understanding, self-control, patience, devotion to God, concern for others and love. That's 2 Peter 1, 5 to 7 from the CE. The translation of the Bible. Jackie, Ash. we are here on a Tuesday recording, getting ready. I am in a very interesting season of life. <laughs> Pre-wedding. Pre-wedding. <laughs> I've like moved out of my family home. I'm dealing with like all of the realities of like living not with my family. Um, I like, the, I, honestly, this is such a silly thing but the biggest thing I noticed my dad has like woken up early for my whole life in the sense of he's woken up early he's got up and had breakfast and by the time I'm awake he's gone to work so my whole like childhood and life that's been the case so I don't think I've lived a winter where the heaters haven't been turned on in the morning yep and what I'm finding is every morning as I awake, <laughs> I am frozen. I am so <laughs> cold. And I literally am like, why is the biggest thing that I'm thinking about right now? The fact that my dad isn't around to turn on the heater. <laughs> I'm, they're like, how are you finding like a- adulthood? And I'm like, mm, cold. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get used to it. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. So I've, I like messaged her. So I was like, please figure out how to put a timer on the heaters for me. <laughs> I need this to come on before I hop out of I'm bed. I'm just a cold gal. I get so cold so yeah. easily. So, yeah. you know, it's not really an issue, but it also has been the biggest thing on my mind every morning at yeah. 6.30. But, you know... I, often when you're going through big periods of change, the little the, it's the one little thing you're that so you right. can safely focus on to kind of take away from some of yeah. the other stuff that's you're, going you're on. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> I'm going to be like, Lord, please help me not be so cold. And he's like, oh, actually, I'm going to make you deal with this. Yeah, over yeah. He's like, this is actually something that you need to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> I gave you a brain that yeah, works I gave you a brain really well. Yeah, give you a brain and a heat us. Figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> You're doing great, Ash. Oh, anyway, that's so irrelevant. But I was like, it's honestly the main problem that, I, <laughs> <laughs> that I'm encountering right now. Jack, this verse from 2 Peter, it says, Do your best to improve your faith. You can do this by adding goodness, understanding, self-control, patience, devotion to God, concern for others, and love. We kind of wrapped up yesterday's right? episode talking about self-control and how integral self-control is actually in a physical sense Mm -hmm. to improving our life. We talked about it very much in a applicable organizational sort of way yesterday. But I think that in today's episode, we're kind of going, you know, God actually wants us to continue to improve our faith. Yeah, and he it's, wants us to get, to add to it and, and get better at the the skills of of serving God. Absolutely, um, and I love this verse. There's because there's always room for improvement. You know, God's not saying you're done or like yeah. this is this is your lot. Just accept it and get on with life. No, He's actually saying there's room. There's room for improvement. There's always more. Mm. There's always more for you that I'm giving you because I love you and you're a child of mine. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, it lies in our attitude towards that continual improvement. And it's about the, you know, we're running a race and there's a couple of verses, you know, mm. in the Bible about running, running your race, um, you know, and we must be determined to run the race that is ahead of us. Um, I fought the good fight. I finished the race. I have kept the faith. And, you know, that's from 2 Timothy again. Mm. Um And it's just such a great visual to keep in mind. We are running a race. We are not, and it's a marathon, not a sprint for most of us, fortunately. Um, And when we add goodness, understanding, self-control, patience, devotion to God, concern for others and love, we are running that race really well. That's Mm. what keeps us going. That's what gives us the longevity. That's what, you know, builds our faith. That's what helps us be the people that God's planned us to be. It's such a great scripture. I couldn't agree more. I think that it is such an important value as Mm. people to be teachable yeah, and to, like you said, realize that we're always going to have to improve things. Yeah, And... I think that this verse is such a great way to go, okay, hey, 
you're kind of feeling like you, you got it all good. Yeah. Kind of feeling like you got it all figured out. Yeah. How are you going with these? Like, how how are you tracking? And actually going, like, Lord, help me. Like, help me to to become better at these things. The Bible talks so much about, like, um, making disciples, right? Yeah. Yes. But what's so interesting is often in church world, we we have this mentality that making disciples just means like telling people about Jesus. Or telling them what to do. Or telling them what to do. <laughs> when being a disciple of Jesus is actually this. Yes. It's the refining process. Yes. It's the, it's the consistent going, hey, God, just like check in with me. How am I going? Yeah. Bring me back onto that yep. path. Help me to, because we're not always going to walk that perfect straight path that God has for us, no. right? And that's what's so beautiful about a relationship with God is he gives us choice. He gives us freedom. He yeah. allows us to make those decisions. He allows us to fail. He allows us to yeah. make mistakes. And it's his grace and his love that goes, hey, well, if you just try and work on these little things, yeah, I'm here for you. And that's the process of like the technical term is sanctification. Yeah. Right. So and there's a quote that I read while I was prepping and it was like sanctification is a spiritual state whereby we become holy like God. Mm -hmm. We take on the character of Christ and manifest it to the world. Yeah. So it's it's literally becoming more and more like Christ and showing that to the world. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. Yeah. Yeah? And And it just shows us that. God's heart isn't just for us to like yeah. get saved and then and then we kind of go tribe. awesome. <laughs> it's actually this lifelong, like you said, running this lifelong race of going, God, I want to be more like you. I yeah. want to be closer to you. Help me to do that. And Jack, is there a time where this verse has kind of come alive in your life? I think that, you know, for, for me, we mentioned that verse, well, we've talked about the race and I think the flip side of what we talked about yesterday in in terms of being really organized mm-hmm. and you know having that self control one of the traits that can that can come with that is thinking that um is forgetting that you need to add these other things to to demonstrate your sanctification to demonstrate mm-hmm. your love for Christ to demonstrate to the world how you're living as somebody who follows Jesus mm-hmm. we sometimes forget to add that you know, understanding, self-control, patience, particularly for me, patience is is a big one. Mm. Um, I remember at a, um, at a previous job that I had, I'd been tasked with, so I worked in a big department at a big organisation and I'd been tasked with um, developing the framework for how we were going to outwork our, our tasks and our mission as that department. And I did research. I did, you know, I put hours and days and weeks into developing this framework. And then my boss said to me, oh, now I want you to go around to each team and actually involve them in the final development of this framework. And I was like... What do you mean? Excuse me. Excuse me. I've done all the planning. I've had all the, you know, self-control. I've had all the, had you all know. the disciplines right? to get this done. All the disciplines. But what I really am, what she was in essence telling me to do was actually apply goodness and yeah. understanding and patience and concern for others and maybe even just a little bit of love into the process mm. as well. So it's this beautiful flip side of being really organized and really having that... Um, really embracing all of those qualities, all of the fruits of the spirit and how yeah. we express that to the world. Yeah, that's so great, Jack. I I like walk through a similar thing where the Lord really spoke to me about humility. Yeah. And I actually think that's what this this comes down to. It's a great to, right? summary word for it's all of this. It's a great summary right? word for all of this. Are we humble enough mm-hmm. to allow God to move? Yeah. Are we humble enough to like you said let your boss go, "Hey, let, let's just let's just do this differently." You know, and I think the ability to allow God to work in those Mm. spaces and giving him permission makes things so much easier. Absolutely. So if you get anything out of today's episode, my encouragement would be one, try and do your best to improve these things. Ask God what you need to work on the most because I can guarantee they'll be be one of them. One of them. One of them will jump out. Guaranteed will stick out. (laughs) And two, if you're kind of going there and, and, and maybe you're not feeling like that or maybe you don't even know where to start, just be like, God, would you help me to, to be humble enough to see where yeah. those gaps are, where those yeah. things that we need to work on are? And, you know, that is exactly how we become more like Jesus and even greater disciples of Him. Mm-hmm. 
If you've got anything out of today's episode, why don't you go and give us a five-star written review over on our Apple Podcast or over on Spotify. That way, even more people can find out about your everyday joy. I cannot wait to dive even deeper into the Word of God with you tomorrow. But until then, I pray you're able to find moments of joy.